Now, your first task, of course, in a demonstration or whenever you wake your Mac, is finding the cursor. And El Capitan makes this easier than ever. I just do that little shake we all normally do. And there it is. It comes right out to greet you. It's really handy. Now, in Safari, I have some sites that I like to keep around because I refer to them on and off throughout the day. And now, in Safari, I can pin those sites just like this. So there's, I'm going to pin my Twitter site here. And of course, I've been following the Warriors. Go Warriors, we're going to get it done. But have you ever had this happen to you? You're like, where is this audio coming from? Well, now, with just a tap, you can mute it or find out where it came from and shut it down, just like that. And now, Spotlight can actually help me out there. So I'm just going to do a search for the SF Giants. And we see right now I get uh, current game scores, upcoming games. Uh, it looks like the game I want to go to is on Friday, so I can just search for weather on Friday. Well, let's try it out in mail. So I've been really busy, of course, the last couple of days, and so I've been getting a little behind on my mail. And I want to see the messages that uh, I've received from Phil but that I haven't responded to yet. So I'm just going to say uh, mail I ignored from Phil. And there, there are a few, but I'll, I'll be getting back to them uh, right after the show. Now, we've done something totally new to El Capitan, and it's the ability to work really easily on two windows side by side. So I'm just going to click and hold here on the green button, and you see it's prompting me to pick a side. I'll just drop it in, and you notice I get an expose of all my other windows. Let me pick the new news app, just like that. 